Cynthia, 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 girl, where were you? Where were you at Nene's husband's going home celebration of life type of celebration she was having for her now deceased husband, Gregory Leeds? Didn't no well tell you not to go, honey. Didn't no well tell you not to go. Did your previous husband, Peter Thomas, did he tell you not to go, girl? Did he tell you not to go to the celebration of life of Great Leagues? Girl, was it no well? Or was it your cur current husband? Did he tell you not to go, girl? Because right now I'm looking at you sideways. I mean, if Peter was still your husband, he would have got at that celebration of life ceremony for Greg Leaks. You know, are you scared of Andy Cohen? Andy Cohen said, you better not go. Girl, was he pulling your chain, honey? Was he pulling your chain? Oh, again, like I said, was it Mike? Was it Mike? Was it delicate Mike telling you not to be involved? Girl, you know you should have been there. Greg loved you in his own sweet way because, you know, he's still going to follow Nene and be stuck up Nene behind all the time, but that's his life. That's how he lived it. But, girl, did Nene tell you not to come? Did she invite you and then uninvite you? Girl, go on and give us the scoop. Go on. Did she call you, girl, and said she wants you to come? Then you made her mad. And she said, uh, I'm rescinding that offer. I don't want to see you. Don't come. Don't come on the premises because you're not going to be let in. Is that what happened, girl? Did she deny you to come in or come by the Lanethia and celebrate with her? On Greg's home going celebration. You could tell her Cynthia. Because it looked like you've been crying about it. Girl. And I know it was a tight. It was a tight. A uh, toe. What do they call it? Uh, a tight total row. Or a tight total hole. Oh, I forget it. But it's basically like you were put in a hard place. And, and you didn't know which way to go. Left or right. Left or right. But girl, you know you should have went. Even if you just went for five or ten minutes. Or if they didn't want to let you in. At least you could have started filming on your Instagram, Facebook, YouTube account. Saying they won't let me in. They won't let me in to pay my respects to Greg Leaks. And then we could have got a clue for why you weren't there. I mean, Eva was there. Portia was there. Candy would have been there. But they said she had another engagement. And lo and behold, Ken, uh, Kenya, her arch nemesis that she wanted to spit on, was there. Now, you talking about some, some maturity up in Kenya? I'm loving Kenya. I'm loving her right now. I'm loving her. But, girl, you like the black sheep running around there. Girl, and I forgot about Phaedra Pauls. Even Fei Fei were there. Fei Fei? Shoot. Apollo should have been there, too. I think he was. Girl, I'm, so, I'm just disappointed in you, Cynthia. I'm so disappointed. Girl. Even if she didn't invite me, I would have showed up just for the hell of it. Not to, you know, make a big scene or anything like that. But I was like, hey, I got to show my, I got to, I got to do my, my, my last respects. Pay my last respects. But girl, you was up there. I'm thinking in New York. At some fashion bomb thing. Trying to show your legs and all this kind of stuff. Getting your little Hollywood actress thing going on. But you had a modeling gig with Fashion Bomb. I heard she was up there trying to sell your leather goods. I, I don't know what happened to that. Uh, your, uh, not your son. Your Noelle, she was practicing trying to be a model. And um, I think it was Charisse, uh, Charisse on, or Charisse on. Kai, I don't forgot the boy's name. Was it Kai? What's his name, Johnson? I want to try to call him. The child named Cayenne, but I know it ain't Cayenne. But her oldest son, she was trying to get him to model and and um, deal with her backpacks and luggage type situation. But it went left. I don't know. I don't know, Cynthia. What, what happened to the luggage? You know, what happened to the Bailey eye glasses thing? So many adventures. So, so many disappointments, girl. Do you still got the wine salary thing over there? I just want to know. I just want to know, girl. But I was highly disappointed. Yes, she was at this event. Uh, CB, I guess Cynthia Bailey's, I don't know, urban wear. I, I don't know what she was doing. But she's supposed to be modeling something. I know it wasn't them days of Duke she got on. But, I mean, fabulous. Fabulous woman. Very not aging real fast at all. I mean, she's aging like fine wine. Got nothing against that. It's just I'm like, girl. What was your ethicalness? What's your moralness? Why weren't you at Greg Leakes' 
ongoing ceremony, girl. Girl, what, what, what's up with that? I'm just, I'm just floored. And I'm just trying to figure out who, who kept you away. Was it Andy Cohen? Was it your husband, Mike? Was it your ex-husband, Peter? Was it your child, Noel? I, I mean, look at this picture. Beautiful picture. And you were saying that Nene knew more about Mike than any other of the housewives, you know? And then you were celebrating with Greg here and there. And then you couldn't show up, girl. That's a slap in the face. A slap in the face. I don't care what Nene did or said. I would have showed up, girl. I would have showed up and showed out. You know what I'm saying? In a nice way. But we're going to get into this article. We had an article written by uh, Meredith Nardino. And she's with USMagazine.com. But first of all, before we get into talking about the money, which ain't no money, but everybody seems like they trying to go and make money and not come to Greg's situation. Even Kenya was, I think, is in New York doing some business, but she took the red out somewhere and got back for the celebration of life for Greg release. She showed up and showed out. They twirled, just twirled like a tornado down here. Came and paid her respects and then went on about her business. So we can't, we can't talk about Kenya this time. We cannot talk about Kenya. But anyway, um... My name is Dale Chanel's 48th World. My name is Dale Chanel. And you are a part of the show tonight. Yes. We're going to be talking about Cynthia. Why she didn't go to that uh, celebration of life of Gregory Leakes. And uh, going to do a video on it. And hopefully this article will pay some uh, tribute or give us some insight on why she didn't go. Okay. But let's just dive on in there. Okay. It was put out on the 13th. About two or three days ago. Um, and it's titled, Cynthia Bailey is praying for Nene Leakes after late husband Greg Leakes' death. He was very loved. The girl, if you were that loved, why you won down? But we're going into the article. It says, standing by her side, Cynthia Bailey gave a small update on how former Real Housewives of Atlanta co-star Nene Leakes is coping after the death of her husband Greg Leakes. Okay, I'm, I'm trying to figure that out too because you wasn't down. Are y'all talking on the phone to each other or something? Girl. But anyway, going back to the article says, Nene Leakes and husband Greg, unconventional relationship timeline. Well, we really don't want to go down the timeline. We're just going to continue to read this article. Uh, Cynthia works, uh, writes on her Instagram post uh, to the family, the Leakes' family and to Nene. I pray she's doing well. Uh, where basically she's talking to a U.S. Weekly. I guess they were asking her about where she going and why she didn't go. And it just turned into a lengthy uh, conversation. That will be in a one paragraph statement. She, she just drug it out. But she says, I pray she's doing well. The Alabama native, 54, told U.S. Weekly exclusive at the Fashion Bomb Dailies. Bomb Fashion Show on September. I'm sorry, on Saturday, September the 11th. So Greg died on September 1st. Mm, I don't know why she didn't go, y'all. It's not making sense. But going back, she was at the uh, uh, bomb Fashion Bomb Show Expo, whatever they were having. I'm sure, yeah, in New York City, like I said, on September the 11th at uh, the sixth floor loft in New York City. It's very, very sad. She says. Bailey noted, Greg was very loved by everyone, and I'm just wishing her all the love and strength. Okay, U.S. Weekly confirmed on September 1st that Greg died at age 66 after battling stage 3 colon cancer. He was originally diagnosed on or in 2018 and was briefly in remission before his illness returned earlier this year. Okay, today the Leakes family is in deep pain with a broken heart. The new norm alums publicist said in a statement, after a long battle with cancer, Greg Leakes has passed away peacefully in his home surrounded by all of his children, very close loved ones, and wife Nene Leakes. We ask that you pray for peace and strength over their family and allow them to mourn in private during this very, very difficult time. Okay. And uh, Cynthia called herself, putting on her Instagram account. Uh, at this time, uh, Bailey sent her love to Nene, 53, and her family via social media. Okay? Why you want VI uh, placed at that uh, celebration party? That's what I want to know. Why you got to go on your own Instagram account and post something exclusively in hopes that the family will see Cynthia. 
What kind of mess does that make? I mean, I know why Andy Cohen went there. He won't welcome. <laughs> After kaputting Nene off of the show, he won't welcome. We know that straight up and down. But why you and Mike weren't there? That's the question. Because you're so cozed up, cozy cozed up with Greg in several pictures. Okay? Several family background type of photos. But yet you didn't show. He was a no-show. Okay. Going back to that. That was just my sidebar. Uh, she says. Uh, she was responding via social media. Heartbroken. So many good times. And so many amazing memories. Greg was always so loving. Funny and kind. She tweeted. So blessed to have had him in my life. Sending my heart felt condolences to at Nene Leakes and her family. Thinking of you and my heart and prayers are with you. Throwing up two prayer signs, hand signs with the heart in the middle. Okay. And then it just goes on and gives us pretty much uh, Nene's uh, resume list from being on Glee uh, for the first time in 1997. Uh, well, no, I'm sorry. Um. Uh, she was married to Greg uh, one time in 1997, then they split in 2011, but he reunited and tied the knot once again two years later. Okay, so it's basically giving us everything of a resume of um, Nene Leakes being on Real Housewives of Atlanta. And um, talking about Cynthia, basically, Nene was an original member of the Real Housewives of Atlanta, Cynthia was brought on by Nene to join the Bravo series uh, when it was in season three period. So, and then of course we know Nene was on Dancing with the Stars, which is something Kenya Moore is going to be proudly displaying to us this fall. Uh, her little dancing skills. Because uh, it don't seem like uh, um, Kenya can dance, but you know, she was kind of two-stepping and then just twirling around. So, I don't know. Maybe she can get with a good choreographer, dancer, and they can teach her how to move. All right. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing her do the foxtrot, but this is here with it is. Okay. But all of that was just my take, my opinion. Uh, wasn't in this lady's article. Um, then it goes on to say, you know, like I said, um, Nene was part of Dance with the Stars. She was a contestant uh, who has been on a rocky Terms with Bailey since season 12. Announced in September, September 2, 2020, uh, she announced, meaning Nene announced that she would not be returning uh, to the show Real Housewives of Atlanta for season 13 and going forward. But uh, it was just too, you know, nothing really after the article had said that she gave her heartfelt condolences through social media. Um, uh, I I just don't understand. And then you know they um they did a little excerpt where they're explaining where Cynthia was saying that she did invite Nene to her wedding. She didn't come, and you know that's pretty much where it is. I respect it. Bailey told uh U.S. uh magazine exclusively in December of 2020. She was one of the first to meet Mike. Because she was around during the early stages when I met my husband. It just wouldn't been. Wait a minute. It just would have been nice to see her and Greg. But again. There was no pressure. I'm fine with it. Where we are in our nice little respect, respectful place. And I'm like. Cynthia if you don't start lying. Evidently it's still her and your baby. That she didn't show up. Even though you invited her. Even though she gave you a little uh, nice spread. At your engagement party. Or, or whatever it might be call himself doing you know and that was nene making amends of not coming uh to your engagement party which led up to you getting married and i don't think she well yeah she did come then she did i think she did yeah I, hell i can't remember maybe that was eva's <laughs> maybe that was evil yeah that was eva's uh wedding she was supposed to be giving a nice toast and then it just all went south but okay yeah she didn't go to um Cynthia's um uh swing shindig of a wedding okay and we kind of got tired of Cynthia getting married so I hope Mike and her last a very 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 long time uh because we just don't want to see her get married again 
But I don't know, guys. What do y'all think? Do y'all think Cynthia Bailey should have definitely been in Gregory Leake's uh, Celebration of Life party? Or do you have a speculation, which is my second thought, and Nene invited her and then uninvited her, you know? <laughs> Leaving Cynthia in such turmoil where she probably cried the whole night because she kind of looked puffy-eyed here. But who knows? Who knows what really happened? It was just my thoughts and my opinions that... You know, regardless of the situation or the bad blood that was, had been building between the two ladies, she still should have been there. You know what I'm saying? She still should have been there. Because I don't think Nene would have wanted that pressure or that headline of Cynthia trying to get in to Greg's celebration and Nene wouldn't let her in. You know, I don't think Nene wanted that type of bad press. Even though they say good or bad, it's still good press. I kind of uh, have a difference of opinion in that, okay? But that's all I have for this video, guys. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Put down in those comments what y'all felt uh, happened with Cynthia not being available to come to uh, Grace Memorial or not being seen at all. What do y'all think? Does that seem kind of uh, suspicious? Does that seem kind of one-sided to you? Get down in the comments. Let me know how you felt about the situation of Cynthia being a no-show at Celebration of Life um, party. Or to, um, we call it not necessarily a party, but get together to rejoice on um, Greg's life and all his accomplishments he made and what he meant to people. Uh, and who he touched throughout his um passing through this kind of universal plane of existence we live in. All right. But that's all I have. I'll see y'all next video. Y'all take care now. Bye.